I'm sad. Our one and only friend on this godforsaken ship is dead. Now we gotta spend the rest of the game with Kendra, probably. God damn it. Oh well, welcome back, ladies and gentle beans, to another exciting episode of Let's Play Dead Space. I'm Gamma, and in the previous episode, we ventured into the Valor, a, another ship that came to respond to our distress beacon, only to find out that not only was the place rigged up for war, apparently, but uh, the, the uh, infection had actually spread like wildfire already, and we came across some scary stasis zombie morphs, which I call speedy morphs. And yeah, we fiddled around in an engine room, grabbed the singularity core so we could bring it back to this ship, and uh, Hammond died after being completely brutalized by one of them brutes, so we revenged ourselves upon that brute we did. And yeah, now we gotta hopefully get out of here. Oh, also we got a message from uh, that kind dude who's like, hold on, we can't just escape yet, we gotta do another thing, so... I don't know, I feel have a, I have a feeling we're gonna hear more from him at some point in the near future, so why don't we, uh, why don't we go and figure out what we gotta go and do next, so, uh... Kendra, you may space Skype us now. No? Oh, there we are. <sighs> Shit. No good. That shuttle's brain dead. Someone removed the navigation cards. God knows why. There's three of them scattered around the deck. I'm downloading their locations. I can't access the doors from here, so you'll need a crew key. If you can find those parts, I think we can get that shuttle operational again. Have you people ever heard of manual steering? Back in my time, it was actually a... Uh... Pretty efficient. You could actually drive the vehicle yourself, and that way, if you didn't have your navigation chip installed, or if you didn't have data for your GPS, you could at least still get around if you knew where you were going. Mind you, this is space, so that kind of adds a little bit of a complication to things, that whole thing where there's a lot of stars and less ground. Ooh, I hear creepy singing in the background. Oh, by the way, oh, wow, diamond semiconductors are fucking valuable, dude. 25? That can buy me two contact, not two contact beams, I almost sold those. No, uh, that could buy me with, there we go, two power nodes. We're starting to get a lot of these things. Why don't we go and buy some actual ammunition for our plasma cutter with the rest of our funds? Yeah, there we go. What's that, what's, what's that leave us with now? Five nodes. We could do some serious upgrading. I'm happy we kind of held off doing upgrade in the la upgrading in the last video, even though it probably would have taken, like, no time at all. I hear the creepy singing from the trailer. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Ooh, that rack had three rounds of line in it. Three rounds of line, that sounds weird. Man, I'm sad though, Hammond's dead. Oh, text log for your reading pleasure. So, living on Mars is basically the equivalent to living on a rock <laughs> in these modern times. Oh, so here we've got a huge spiel about unitology. Maybe I might actually read this. <clears throat> unitology boasts a following of millions, counts, powerf uh, counts powerful CEOs and officials in its ranks, claims 78 billion in stock in multi-global companies, and it owns two of uh, and owns two of Earth's largest financial institutions, GPSG Financial and United Energy Investment. Uh, investments, which I believe is actually what the USG Shimura is uh, associated with, the United Energy Federation. 
From its beginnings as a cult of personality, Unitology has become respected, estab a respected established religion. Most people know the basics. 200 years ago, Michael Altman, a professor in anthropolo anthropology, blew the whistle on what is uh, what is claimed what he claimed was the biggest cover up ever instituted by earth governments the discovery of an artifact or marker which prov uh, which proved beyond any doubt that there is alien life in the universe the government labeled altman a kook but his claim stuck struck a chord with some and his mysterious death soon afterwards fueled that interest Unitologists believe the marker contained a code, the key to eternal life through rebirth and ascension to heaven. The kicker is that you have to die first. <laughs> they say the government is holding the marker somewhere, keeping its secrets for themselves. Across all of human space, Unitologists praise Altman's martyr app, martyrdom and await the day God comes to take them to their new life beyond death. It all sounds pretty harmless, but like any cult, there's a dark side. Unitologists are ranked in the church. Nobody ever talks about it, but most of its critics believe that there is at least uh, that at least three ranks above the average believer or initiate. With each new rank, more of the church's inner workings and research is revealed to the follower. And those ranks are achieved by one simple criteria, giving money and power to the church. Think of taking, uh, think taking all your money is bad? The church also requires members to donate their bodies after death. Why? What do they do with them? Nobody knows. And attempts, to, and attempts to infiltrate the inner circle have failed. With an emphasis on transformation and rebirth, maybe we wouldn't like the answer, even if they told us. One rumor, is, uh, one rumor that also refuses to die says the church is funding a secret, sh uh, secret shipbuilding program. Some claim to have seen the fleet. No documentary, uh, no docum, ah, excuse, excuse me, no documentary evidence has ever been supplied, but the climate, uh, but the claimants all say that these word ships, despite a huge size, continued on another page. Okay, so yeah, that's basically just a huge spiel on uh, unitology in general. I don't think uh, Altman is actually ever mentioned by name in any of the VO in the uh, the original game. That whole uh, thing is expanded upon much more greatly in Dead Space 2. In fact, I actually want to say that uh, some pieces of information were actually retconned in Dead Space 2 uh, onward for the sense of sense make. Hmm. I could get the last hit point in. Yeah, that's uh, that is an awesome little uh thing we just did there. Why don't we go and upgrade our plasma cutter some as well? Hmm. I can get more out of that node first and foremost. So, yeah, there we go. Now we've got a full HP bar. Ooh, yeah. All right, so we've actually uh, exposited a lot in this particular uh, video already, so why don't we uh, actually get around to playing a little bit more? No, no, no. the shuttle is mine. I control access to the shuttle. If you could make the journey, I could fix everything. I'm sorry, Mr. Clark. Unless you can prove to me you can get it space-worthy again. I'm afraid I can't let you through. I need to know you're on my side. I can't pick this thing up. Why can't I pick this thing up? That thing looks like it could be money. Unless this thing is bugged out and it's just not letting me interact with uh, pickups anymore. Hope that's not the case. Guess we'll find out later. 
What do you cling to when all must ensue? Oh, this, this freak. Dr. Cross was a true believer. She had faith. And now she awaits her transformation. A rebirth. Are you ready to ascend the temple? Nobody is ready for any of this. Have no fear. Oh, temple? You will play your part soon enough. Witness the conviction of a true believer! They are ready. Thank you. Embrace them. Dude, get fucking help, man. Okay, so I believe that's actually Temple. He's like one of the dudes whose names I actually remember who was looking for some chick named, named Elizabeth. Oh, great, we got more wall growth. That probably means that there's more guardians. Hate guardians so much. That is one thing that I uh, immensely enjoy about Dead Space 2 is that the uh, amount of those things is uh, significantly less. Temple, I'd hate to defile your body, but those necromorphs are going to do much worse, so I hope you forgive me if I kind of hack it a bit real quick. Assuming this slow-ass floor will even let me. God, what is this stuff even made out of? Oh god, I hear explodies. I hear explodey exploding tins. Where's his body? There's his body. Sorry, bro! But if you've got no limbs, and you've got, then I've got no fear. Again, I'm sorry, bro. It's how it's gotta be. I wonder why I couldn't pick that one thing up. I can pick these things up, no problem. But that one piece of cred was just not going into my pocket for one reason or another. Ooh, I spy with my little eye a power node box! Not a power lock, but a power node box that contains a node that could possibly be used to open a lock. I hate these things so much. <laughs> Divided you fall indeed. These things kind of... The noise that these things make also, in addition to the web, in, in, in addition to the reboot web creatures, they also kind of remind me of the uh, those moon creatures from uh, Star Fox Adventures in the Moon Mountain Pass. Also, I'm saying all of these things while shooting at least three to five shots while not hitting it. Beat, beat your face in. All right, you guys are a little too all over the place, so I got a rapid fire. Ugh. Nice for those other guys to kind of patiently wait while I finish punching that thing's face, body, in. Oh, these things are a real pain to deal with once they're actually out and about running. Okay, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Ah, there's one of them. There's more of them. Actually, this might be the one place where this is useful. Ah. It's always satisfying when you could actually kill something with a curb stomp. Alright, let's go and break these Xboxes so we can recover some of the items that we just lost there. Okay, good. Ugh, gross. Good. Our health is never bad.
There should be a suit upgrade that lets you be able to run on this gunk. God, and it's dripping too. Ooh, a crew key. Uh oh. I hear somebody transforming. By the way, there's our power node that we hyped that I hyped up like a couple minutes ago. Hate guardians, I hate guardians, I hate guardians, I hate Ah! No! No, go back! Go back! There was a thing that I didn't pick up! There we go. Much better. Oh, there's also an Xbox over there, but... Meh. Yeah. Something about the flight deck. I actually kind of under- Oh, hi! I really must speak with you. I'm very close to your position, and... And I know you want to hear what I have to say. I can explain all this. So what happened? When you have the nav cards, I'll let you into the security station. We must talk. Hurry. Man, you're just taking advantage of the fact that I don't have anything to say in this game. Just putting words in my mouth. I want to meet with you. I want to... exchange business cards and phone numbers and... bodily fluids. Maybe not that last one, but... Whatever. I think enough fluid exchange has kind of happened on this ship with all the death and destruction and chopping off of limbs. <laughs> okay. I almost kind of made a care- uh, There's no guard- Oh god, why the fuck does that stuff just kind of explode into goop? Ugh. Don't go there, which means probably go here, unless this is, uh, taking me back somewhere that I don't need to be. Okay, no, this is just taking me back. That's just taking me backwards. There's one thing that can be said about Dead Space 2, like, I know a lot of people... Uh, say that this game has the better horror atmosphere, which it does, it legitimately does, but one thing that I absolutely love about the game's sequel is the fact that all these places don't look exactly the same. Uh, 2 had great atmosphere as well. It It's not as, uh, horror-y. There's a lot more action and a lot more jumpiness, but... Still a sweet game. Excuse me. Uh, boy. I know what to do with you. Denied. What's that? You want to keep going? Plasma round. Your input is not valid. Okay, okay, there's the explosion. And with this thing all good and dead, we can... Just pick that stuff up all safely and not have to worry about getting our heads, uh... Punched clean off by an intestine. Something that you can only say in a game like this, really. Ooh. I can't pick that... Okay, there we go, I can pick that up. Ugh. Flies exist in space. Uh, oh, it's because I have the crew key. All right. You got me there, game. You got me. Reload all my stuff. Why would these things require more than one nav card? They got some parallel processing stuff going on? Or it's just faster if you have more than one installed? Or is it just like one of those redundancy backup things where if one breaks, there's another one that's up and running? That's actually probably what it is. The 
life support system in Sleep Block B has been shut down. You'll have to find an override nearby to get through the door. Oh, I know what I'm doing, Kendra, and it's not completely what you say. Alright, I am putting the pants on in this relationship that we don't even have because I, uh, have a girlfriend. She totally wants me. She totally wants me to make her whole. Ah! What? I knew I brought this thing for a reason. Ugh. Hold up. Ah, fuck. There we go. Whew. Best, most painful, best, most painless way of dealing with those things, even if I am prone to missing. I'd still rather have that one-shot assurance. Anything over here? Yes. Ugh, God, more puking walls. There's the thing that I would have gotten dragged into if I hadn't, uh, blown that thing up. Heh, <laughs> little kinesis switches that aren't working. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Why don't we just go in here? This is a place where we get, where we should probably be. Ooh. Oh, no, I thought that was a power lock. It's just a kinesis. Kinesis and a jig. Yep. Now we can push this button. Door lock overwritten. Sweet. That means we can go back. Get jumped by another thing. Yep. Yep. Oh, no, 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 no. Excessive, but I don't care. You done, buddy. Probably go over there, but oh, I want to say I'm missing a bunch of power lock rooms. I really do All right elevator don't want to go in the elevator just yet That probably means I will have to go there at some point later So let's go and pick up more health. I love having Life support and oh, life whoa. Malfunction. Hazardous condition. Please contact repair specialist Um Okay, so does that mean that this whole area is vacuous? Probably. Yup. Oh, I think I remember this part. Lot of, uh, lot of bloated fuckers in this area that are just going to explode into parasites from the get-go. Good. I can do that at least. I really do love the vacuum sections though, man. the lack of any but the lowest frequent like the lowest frequency sounds creates this super friggin uneasiness especially when you can hear your character's screams even clearer than normal is there an air recharge i feel like there's no there isn't an air recharge i should probably leave and get my air reach okay there we go Whew. I said before, I'm actually kind of impressed with the room-to-room, -room, uh, atmospheric control of these, uh, futuristic ships. Life support and climate system malfunction. Hazardous condition. Please contact repair specialist. Hazardous conditions is a bit of a understatement. More like completely unlivable conditions. Pretty sure uh, us humans are pretty useless with that oxygen, for example. I mean, we can live with being cold to a certain extent, but uh, being oxygen deprived is a little bit more uh, 
dangerous, I would say. Also, I grabbed a thing. Let's escape this room. Because, ow. I cannot possibly fight these things and get to the exit in time. So, oh. Come on. Open, 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 open. Okay. Insult to injury much. God damn it. <laughs> Ran out right. This is bringing back memories. Whoa! That was not needed. Jesus. That's new. So I hit the checkpoint as soon as I died, and that guy just decided to hang out with me. God. This game is finding new ways to actually unnerve me. Well, whatever, we got the key item right. Yes, we do. We've got... The core, the crew key, and a nav card. So let's finish this collectathon, shall we? Tick tock. Uh oh. Oh god. Was that just the wall puking? Please just be the wall puking. I think it might be safe to say that was just the wall puking. Already been in here, don't need to go back. Oh, hello, Mr. Explody. Goodbye, Mr. Explody. Hello, Mr. Explody's brother. Exploder, Explodum. You are also dead now with your brother, Explody. I hope you have a good after afterlife, considering that all you guys are the product of life after death. PUNCH THE SKULL! Tentacle. Monster. Those guys are becoming obnoxiously more frequent- Oh, Nice try there, buddy! Onto your bullshit. Not having any of it! Oh god, I love the blood splatters of those things! Pretty sure there's more blood coming out of them that's, than, 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 than what's actually in them, but I don't care, they're annoying, so I don't mind seeing them explode into bloodles. Bloodlets. Ah, I can run again. Yay. Do I gotta pick up more nav cards, or do I just have- or can I just make do with the one? Looks like I might just be able to d deal with just the one. Excuse me. What can we sell? Well, we're starting to get a lot of money quickly. So, you know what that, of course, means. It means... Power node. Boop. And, uh... Lazzies. Pew! God, I can hear multiple people singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star now. Whoa, hello. Being dead is just a polite thing to do, you know? Just, just keep on doing that and give me your money. That's also really polite. Thank you. So we've unlocked that thing, but there's a thing going on over here, so... What's up? Ooh, lockers. Lockers and more lockers that I can't get into. Oh, this must be the place. I think I might actually be in the gym. Ooh, the level 5 suit. Okay, I, okay, I was wrong. I thought that level 5 was the final suit schematic that you got in post-game. But I'm incorrect, I guess. I guess there's a level 6 schematic. 
That's cool, we'll deal. A text log for your reading pleasure. Ah. Okay, so that's just the instructions for Zero G Basketball. You actually can get quite a handful of items for doing this, but I'm just gonna do a round. Because... Lord knows we need at least some R&R after this... clusterfuck that we've been having. Oop. Oh, wait. There is more things in here. Yikes. Well, we needed that navigation card anyway, so we didn't come to the wrong spot. Of course. Of course, it's not loaded. Damn babies! Ramping my style! Come over here so I can kick you. Otherwise, you'll just get clotheslined. Alright, running low on line ammo. Switching back to plasma. There we go. Get that, you. Give me those racks. Mm. Look at that rack. All oh, right, so where is the startup for this thing again? Ooh. Oh, man. It even makes basketball court noises. <laughs> That's so cool. Alright, so after that uh, horrible encounter, I think we need some R&R, &R, so let's uh, play some Zero GB Ball. Starting game, level one. The question is, where is the ball? Um. Ah, there you are. Let's shoot you into a basket. Except I totally ran out of time. Urgh. Trying to grab you. Come on. Finally, I got the thing into the- I got the scoring ball into the scoring hole. Let's get another one in there. Yeah! There we go. We are pros at space- space get ball. Ah, crap. Come on. Come on! Come on! Erp. Erp. Er, come back here! Fine, I'll go to you, my bally friend. Boop. This is probably the most bullshitty way to play this game. <laughs> I probably did not get any uh, high scores whatsoever. I got three. No multiplier, because I didn't uh, step on any of these things. But yeah, that's zero G basketball. If you want to see somebody actually play professionally, well, uh... I'm pretty sure that there are some people out there that do that. Exiting zero gravity. Like I said, it's probably, uh, it's probably a worthwhile thing to fuck about with simply just because, uh... As you get higher scores, more and more of these, uh, actually unlock, so... Uh. Uh. 
Come on and slam. Oh, excuse me for a second. Yes, I'm a little surprised that I didn't go through that whole section without mentioning Space Jam a little bit more frequently. I'm sure someone's gonna comment on that. Either way, we've got two of the cards now, so that means that we're almost done. I feel like I should save. Just so I have a slot that's dedicated to being able to go back to zero-g basketball. Alright, down the elevator we go. I think we're going down. I know it's going down. Regardless of the direction of this elevator, it is still going down. Oh, there's a save machine. Uh-oh. And that crazy guy is talking again. Great. What's happening on the colony is not a tragedy. It's a more fantastic. When the planet blows, we have... Whoa, hi! God's plan is unfolding and we are its inheritance. Oh, that means that there's a fucking wall guard nearby, isn't there? always knew we would. Unitology is truth! And your death is the first phase. We deterred by the physical methods of transformation. Soon, you will be beyond any physical concerns. You must have faith, fools. This is what we have been searching for all these years. This is what we have been waiting for. Don't listen to them. Come back. Come back. How can you be turning away from the church in this vital hour? Do not abandon your faith. What's happening on the colony is not a tragedy. It's God. This truth is even more fantastic. Oh, it's a tragedy, all right. Also, maybe it's just because I have this weird obsession with the room, but... We are its inheritance. He's, he's kind of sounding a little like Tommy was so right about now. This is not a tragedy. You're lying. I never hit her. Your death is the first phase. We deterred by the physical methods of transformation. Yeah, no, no, no. Death is not the answer. Shut up. You are a physical concern. Alright, so I gotta push these things around. Um... These bunk beds? I think these are bunk beds. I'm in a barracks, I guess. I really should be paying attention to what room I'm actually in. <laughs> well, what deck I'm actually in. Uh, just gotta move all these around. All, all these around. Wow. Who would ever have set up bunk beds like this? Ooh, a ruby conductor. Is that it? Is all that was here just some uh, extra goodies? Not necessarily thinking that's a bad thing, mind you, but, uh... Oh, no, wait, wait, there's more. Uh... Gotta move you... And you... And then... You... Oh, yeah. That works. This puzzle really doesn't feel that necessary. Just saying. Urgh. Not a lot of action has really happened in this video. There's been a couple of encounters, but... Oh. Sorry. We probably could have saved you. Probably not, though. Knowing our track record of saving people who aren't us. Last of the nav cards. There will be no escape for you, my friend. You have been most resourceful up until now, but my creation is free. Reborn in the fierceness of life itself. 
Now it's time to play your part. I have no part in playing my part as that part involves killing that thing. Uh, and I just realized I don't have stasis. Oh no. Whatever, I can still temporarily immobilize him. Um. At least he's squishy as fuck. So it really only does take a couple of hits to actually knock him down. Still, I'd love to actually be able to get out of here. All right, there we go. Oh! Hi! You weren't invited to this party. I mean, nobody really was, but... At least I was expecting the regenerating guy. I wasn't expecting you to also come in and have... Come in and share in on the fun. This... Delightful... Fun. out here so I can at least try to seal you off. That's right, come on. Regenerate back over here, buddy. Boop! 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 Uh-oh. Uh. Uh. Nope. You can't come in here. This is my private space. This is my safe space. Alien monsters aren't welcome here. Urgh. Of course, he's totally gonna just drop over here, isn't he? Also, pick up the health, please. Come on, Isaac, there you go. Here he comes. Okay, I feel like I should just say fuck it and run. No, oh god. From him anyway. Go, 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 go. Okay. You're in another room with more items and no stasis. I wish I had more stasis. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Whoa! Calm down there, buddy. Have some coffee. Or death. Either or. Whoa! It's okay. I was just leaving. I really don't need your input. Um, oh, is this room seriously locked? Yes, I gotta kill the baby. Oh, this ain't good. How do I get out of here then? Unscathed, that is. Oh. Not going that way. Not going that way. You want to just, like, uh, stay down for a couple seconds? Um, please? Oh, well. You're staying still, at least. That's, uh, actually kind of a huge help. Thank you. I gotta remember to be a little bit more polite to you guys. Maybe that's the, maybe that's the key to making you work with me a little bit better. Excellent work, Mr. Excellent work. <laughs> Isaac, be careful with Dr. Kine. A lot of what I've discovered so far has come from his records. The man has clearly gone insane. He might be unstable, maybe even violent. 
I'm sure he's a bit more stable than my physical condition right about now. Feel like all my insides are about to fall out. Even with this incredibly huge health bar. Oh, there are actually things in here. <laughs> oh, man. Blah! Wasn't expecting to survive that. All right. You guys are going to show up over around here, aren't you? Boop. I'm ready for you. Mostly. Oh, that was amazingly lucky. <laughs> that was amazingly lucky. Wowies. Let's go and sell this stupid ruby semiconductor. Ugh. And buy yet another node for upgrading. Yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all. As well as, uh, more. Plasmides. I should be buying health, but having the extra ammo at least makes it a little bit more easier for me to stop my health from getting any lower than it already is, in theory. And, uh, yeah, I believe all that we really have left to do here anyway is, uh, head on over to the, uh, executive area where Kine's waiting for us. Uh, you can always tell it's an executive suite because the carpet's all red and upholsterily. Hey, bro, we're here. What's up? You've made it! Oh, thank God you made it. Yep. I've been following your progress. I know you want to repair the executive shuttle and leave this place, but escape is impossible at this point. The... Shuttle shock point drive is destroyed. And uh, that's why I grabbed the stupid shock module. At first, I lost hope. I, I tried to scuttle the ship, sabotage the systems. But Amelia, oh, she changed things. The church, they think the market is divine. But they don't know what's happened here, what's been released. Look, 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 look. Oh my, what? It's what we found in the core of the planet. Mercer calls it the hive mind. It's the source, controlling the necromorphs telepathically. We were so stupid! But Amelia, she knew, she knew it could be stopped by returning the marker to the planet. The marker was containing it within the planet. Return the marker and seal the hive mind. Please. I'm sorry, Amelia. I bear much of the responsibility for this tragedy. Now, I must take responsibility for ending it. And atone for my sins. Hey. If you can help me. If you repair the shuttle and bring the marker back on board, we can end this. Forever. First off. You didn't know it was gonna happen. You didn't know that this was gonna happen. And secondly, you're not Kendra, so I can easily accept your apology and not feel salty about it later. With that said, let's go and do this fun stuff. Man, what has science done? Angry pregnant aliens. Like a bunch of them. Wow. Um. 
shit, son. Hope I've got the firepower to handle what might pop out of them. Well, you're just gonna stand there and wait for me to shoot you, so that's good. Whoa, 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 no, you can't fit in here. This is for people only. You're not people, you gave up that right when you became an alien monster. <laughs> eh, this is terrible. <gasps> wow, this is terrible. Resorting to all these noobish tactics now. As the door closes on that one's body. Uh-oh. friend. Don't mind me, I'm just being a hit and running bastard. Getting rid of all the pregnant alien ladies. Should probably word that a lot better. Come on, I know you're still alive. Ah, and there I go. Okay, maybe that method isn't going to work as well as I thought it would. Let's try this again. Boop. 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 Still having a little trouble getting back in here. I'm seeing. Okay, that didn't go out very well. But whatever, at least I've got a good means of actually disposing of the parasites. If that one was taking its sweet time to get shot by anything, whatever. And I know you're... wow. There are more than I thought there were. Oh, and I think he exploded. Good. Yep. Look at all those wonderful little monstrosities. Uh-oh. Back to just using the contact beam again, apparently. Ah, let me reload. Bump, 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 bump. There's a nice, happy little health over there. I would love to grab it. <clears throat> All right, now that I'm out in the open. Arr. Uh oh. That totally didn't hit. Uh. Any other weapons that I got? Nope. Just contact still. Oh, well, whatever. This lone sucker ain't gonna be nothing. There we go. Urgh. Oh, now give me some pulse rounds. Okay. Let's see the game you play. It's... it's dead space. It makes all the sense. Imagine we're probably close to being done in this area, though, which means that we'll be heading back towards the tram. Yep. Oop, almost missed this thing. Sorry about the jump cut, by the way. Ended up kind of wandering around a second for some reason. Oh, well, whatever. Either way, yes, this looks like we are at the end. Maybe. Are we? Let's install this thing and find out. I'm on my way. 
All right, take your sweet time. It's not like anything is gonna happen over here, right? Nah, I'm pretty sure nothing's gonna happen over here. Everything's all hunky-dory over here. Nice, peaceful. Nothing bad could possibly happen. Here in this little shuttle hangar. Goes on in this room, by the way. Hmm, some lines, some contacts. Some lines. And a control console. Hmm. And another control console. Test fire the shuttle. Hmm. Alright. Test firing shuttle engines. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, dear me. This wasn't part of the deal. Whatever, I actually know what to do at least, so... Uh, we want to get that thing into the fiery path of that fiery engine. The question is... I probably should have scoured the area a little bit more thoroughly first out, because now I'm just getting picked apart by these freaks. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm in pieces. Yum, yum, yum. Wow, I'm just trashing this pl- <laughs> Holy fucking crap! Uh, sorry for the other jump cut, I was basically just kind of running around, scouring the area for any other goodies that I might be able to pick up because, wow, that was a little bad last time. I think I've got enough stuff despite the fact that I have, like, no plasma shots, so... Might be able to go and do the, uh, the monster gauntlet again and maybe survive a little bit harder? Who knows? You wanna kind of... Ah, here we go. Now we've got some more, uh... Some more of these things, and I'm gonna go and trash this room out of frustration as well. Urgh! Ooh, and an audio log. What are you... Oh, no, text log. For your reading pleasure. Okay, so it's looking like it's just a... God damn you, these are running the ship now! So that's basically just a ship uh, roster report. Hmm. Any other worthwhile pickups? Yeah. Oh, and an audio log. What are you saying? Captain's log. Personal. I want to set the record straight. By the time this log is heard, my actions will have been vindicated. I'm a unitologist. By now, it's probably no secret that we shouldn't be in this star system. Just another illegal mining job for the company. That is, until the colony found the marker. That was when the church took an interest and chose me to lead this pilgrimage. They also ensured many of the mission crew were devout. My primary instruction was to get the marker up from the colony and on board the ship. Dr. Kine, the CSO, is an expert on the original marker and was tasked with deciphering this new one. He says he's making good progress. My decision to quarantine the colony is sound. They've got some kind of epidemic down there and I can't allow it to infect the ship. Not with such precious cargo. Not when we are so close. Planet Crack takes place tomorrow. We'll continue to decipher the marker, and when we return home, we'll pass all our findings, and the marker, to the church. The government isn't going to cover this one up. Altman be praised. Yep. Fuck this noise. Also, yeah, okay, they did, they do, they do do the, the, the Altman chant. Cool. Alright, so did I, uh, does this thing, oh no, it's not installed yet, there we go. All right, let's see if I can actually survive this time. Test firing shuttle. Don't rush yourself, kind. Still don't have 
Stasis could really use it. Maybe this guy will have some stasis. He does seem like that kind of person. Or not, he'll just uh, have the jitters. Uh oh. Oh. Um, 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 um. Okay, so you're just gonna keep coming out of the vents. Gotcha. Uh. All right, come on. No, you'll give me the time of day. Uh. Uh. Come on. Ow. It wouldn't let me run. Damn it. All right, come here, my friend. That's right, you just stay there. While I go and fire this thing off. Come on! Come on! Yes! Yes! Die! Still got these freaks to deal with, but, uh... At least that Regenerator's gone! He ain't so scary. Whoa. But you guys... You guys are still alive, and that makes you a uh, lot worse, actually. Fucking vents! Okay, so I heard Kime, Kine, he said to release the docking clamps, get this thing moving. Also, is it just me or did I hear Mercer kind of over there mention, talking about that making us whole thing? What? Shuttle locks disengaged. I'm en route to the flight deck. Meet me there and we can load the marker on board. Yes, Amelia. Soon we'll take it home. <coughs> Amelia? I don't know if Kine is crazy or not, but we need that shuttle. Let's keep him on our side. For now. Okay, he's mentioned that Amelia chick a couple of extra times now. This seems a little weird. Amelia... Other people mentioning the whole process of making us whole. Oh, man. Whoa! Hi! Your time has come. No need to be frightened. No reason to fight. Many have gone before us. And now it's time for us to take the voyage together. Transcend death. The future take its course. Join me as I gaze upon the face of God. You're gonna stab yourself, aren't you? Oh, no. You're going to just feed yourself to the Vagina Stingray Monster. Good. I'm glad you did that to yourself. Except that probably means I'm going to have to fight you, and you're probably going to be some weird, super special freaky boss, aren't you? I actually don't remember. Where are all the node rooms, man? I could have sworn there were more. Unless there are, but you can only find them in harder difficulties. Otherwise, they're just like locked rooms. Ugh. You will stop doing that immediately. I don't have any fucking bullets. Ugh. 
Come on, don't get awkward with the fucking ripping his things out animation. Good. That was... Oh wait, no, I had some plasma shots. But I was cycling counterclockwise, so I probably wouldn't have gotten to it yet. Oh, let's go and upgrade some things before we leave. Hello, my plasma cutty friend. Upload, not upload, reload. That thing. This thing. Ah, uh, we've only got one more upgrade to apply to this thing. Ah, uh, two more actually. Capacity. Totally forgot about you. I'm committing this note. I don't care anymore. <laughs> But this gun is almost fully upgraded. Kinda happy about that. Alright, so let's actually get the heck out of here. Stupid vagina stingray monsters. Gotta make everything worse. Ah, uh, well, at least now we're back at the tram. I don't know why I thought that other place was the tram. Uh, whatever. Either way, what is going to be awaiting us over at the flight deck? Man, it's actually been a while since we've been to the flight deck. It's been, like, since the beginning of the game. We're going back to where we originally were. We've gone full circle. Well, we'll be going for a full circle. Question is... What kind of weirdness is going to be waiting for us over there? How difficult will it be for us to get the marker like, back onto the planet. There's only one way to find out, and that is, of course, to tune in to the next exciting episode of Let's Play Dead Space. Until then, take care.